This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. Our first caution has come out at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Todd Bodine taking a very interesting ride across the infield at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Let's see if we can take a look at Todd, see what happens. He's on the inside of Ron Hornaday. Looks Looks like he got a little bit loose and has to use up the racetrack. And in order to not hit Ron Hornaday, he turned the wheel left and it sent him spinning in the infield. We see, we've seen that so many times, the truck on the inside getting a little bit loose. And this is another case of that happening. That was Todd being courteous. He didn't want to run into Hornaday, so he uh, hooked the left and unfortunately went for a spin. Robert Huffman able to pull back around him on the outside. See, Ted's going to try it again on the inside. Robert oh, trash into turn one, guys. Big hit. And off turn four. Two, excuse me. Rudiman goes around off two. That's the 65. That's Regan Smith. Glenn Motorsports entry. A lot of damage to the back of that truck. Man, that was a big I'm sorry, guys. Sounds as though he's okay. communicating with his team right now. Yeah, I'm fine. I lost Sarah. Regan's already in the outside wall. Wow. See him keep the brakes locked. I'm trying to keep the truck up there, but unfortunately, the banks are self-cleaning. More than likely, it's coming back down. Uh, Matt Crafton getting out of the six this year. Ron Horner is taking over that ride. Oh, we got a flat. Oh, problems with Shiggy Atori. Sparks flying out. He must have hit the wall pretty hard. The damage on the front end of that truck is pretty extensive. I we think he blew a tire first. Sure looks like it. We, we see a lot of damage to this truck. Obviously, he made some hard contact, but it would be a whole lot worse, Michael, if it, has, had, if it wasn't yeah, for the Yeah, I'm okay. We just heard, yeah, I'm okay out of Shiggy. Well, uh, Phil, you're going so fast. Uh, Another look at this way back in the back here. You see Shiggy? He's already made contact with the outside wall. You see the sparks coming from the right front of the truck. We mentioned earlier he made some contact in practice. They were able to get that truck back together. The issue is, do these guys run 20 or 30 laps? And that 15 truck has to come to pit road. Oh, no, it's not going to happen right now. What? Well, it's Tony. Look at Tony Stewart. Trying to hang on. Tony Stewart spinning him around. And he'll come down pit road. Yes, we never did spin out. Jack Sprague got I turned got around. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Got turned around right behind him in the aftermath. Caution flag comes out. That is Stewart. so cool. He He'll never keep uh, might need some tires, though. <laughs> Tony said, I got it, I got it. He just said he might need some tires. Well, he might need some money. Get, get, more, guys. get ready here. And we'll see if we can see what happens. You see Tony on the outside. He came down a little bit, looks like, made a little contact with Kelly Sutton, the 2 Almost had it saved. Ted Musgrave said, please get out of my way. Ted did a great job of patiently waiting. Here comes Hamilton in the back. Can't see because of all the smoke and runs right into Jack Sprague. He probably did some damage to the left rear of Jack Sprague. He might have bent the rear end housing. That's why they pushed Jack Sprague behind the wall. That understand if if, if the oh, trouble off too. Yeah. Jimmy Spencer's around. Mr. Excitement keeps it going straight as Bobby Hamilton just avoided that. Come on, come on, and come the on, come will come out. We'll see this time if Kyle. Oh, the he just not did Tony Stewart with yeah. that save. That was a tremendous save. He never even got off the racetrack, but what a tremendous spray for Kyle Busch and Terry Cook. Look at this. On the inside of Huffman, no, excuse me, on the inside of Skinner, pushes up into him. Just a little bit. Skinner actually came down maybe a hair, and what a tremendous job. Look at Timothy Peters get by Jimmy Spencer. Tremendous job for his first time ever on a super speedway. It's David Starr and Matt Crafton. Ten years tough of the NASCAR Craftsman oh, Truck Series. On the inside of the four truck of Timothy Peters. How many times have we seen that where the truck on the inside gets loose? You see him lose a downforce. He gets completely sideways. I see Johnny Benson is going to try to oh. absolutely cannot see a thing, but gets slowed down enough to avoid him. Tony Stewart slipped by the bottom. Johnny Benson just chilled out. Waited to see what was going to happen. A great job by Benson. A good job by Huffman. He was back tire spinning. He never let off the game. Uh, try to get this thing back to the shop and get it up in here and find out what's really going on. You sounded like you were having a blast out there. You you had one stunt after another today. You were having fun for sure. Are you coming back to the truck series? 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I love running here. I mean, especially running these guys. And I'm going to run Kevin's truck at Richmond. And, uh, you know, I've driven for Andy Petrie and got two wins or got a win with Andy and, well, two wins with Andy at uh, Richmond. So uh, it's a series I love running. Just, uh, you know, this crew, I wish you could have seen how hard all these guys worked yesterday. They uh, they definitely deserved a better shot. And we had our buddies Diamond Rio and Quaker State. Quaker Steak and Lube and Torque, so uh, just wish we could have done better for all of them. A short night for Tony Stewart, but he'll be back in the Truck Series. Rick? Well, we had some pit stops taking place there. We had a truck turned around there. Look at the, the 50 truck of Todd Cleaver. He's in his box. Yeah, he made some contact somehow with the 12 of Robert Huffman, and he's got all four wheels in the box, so this is a legal pit stop. Going to take a little longer than normal, but... No hurt, penalties. Going to hurt his track position. And uh, yeah, there he is, just leaving his pit with gas only. And here comes Cleaver. You got to work with your spotter, and as a driver, you got to watch and know who's around you there, uh, and avoid those accidents because uh, it's dangerous. First of all, and foremost, but then also you can damage your truck. You know how sensitive these things are, arrow-wise, in the front end. Either so they've they've done a great job repairing that truck in order for him to be competitive as he is. Look how they got the, the they had the rear spoiler wired up to the roll bar see the was this see the wire there the bungee cords holding the spoiler in the back up is this one of those bailing wire and 180 mile an hour tape oh, oh problem wow big timothy peters in the four into the wall look at ted wow what a great job by musgrave to avoid the 66 of todd bodine well, he's had a lot of practice yeah I he's bet avoided three wrecks so far yeah. he's probably sitting there saying try it again guys <laughs> give me what you got i'll get it Wow, big crash for Timothy Peters there. That truck's hit hard. I also believe the 30 of Chad Chaffin has some serious damage through the front of it. And the 66 of Todd Bodine also has some damage. As you mentioned, there's the 30 of Chad Chaffin. Tremendous amount of damage to the front of that Jermaine Arnold truck. <laughs> you did say that. I said that, and this is why. There's the, there. the 66 of Todd Bodine gets loose on the inside of the four. Timothy Peters has to chase the truck up the hill, makes some contact, puts both of the, those trucks in the wall. The 30 of Chad Chaffin comes along. No, and watch Ted Musgrave. Watch the one truck avoid the 66 of Todd Bodine. That's just experience and being smart. He's going. Watch him driving in turn number three there. That's the 29 of Brad Keselowski. Skinner, you see him move up the racetrack ever so slightly maybe about two or three feet but the 29 of brett keselowski was there and then this is obviously the the carnage that resulted because of that just wasn't able to hold the truck down phil as he entered turn three i don't know if he was going to try to work his way up on the outside of the 50 there but it just looked like you said that uh, Look at terry squeezing him down that's going to make my scrape awful loose while all this is going on kyle bush Keeps moving ahead. Oh, and problems. The 38 of Brandon went into the wall. That's such a terrific run going. He was being shown in the seventh position. Just inside of five laps to go. And unfortunately, his day is going to end against the outside wall. Well, unless the safety crews do a miraculous job, it looks as though we may have a green-white checkered finish tonight. That's basically what it's going to amount to, whether it's and there we go. Two laps of racing to go at Lowe's Motor Speedway. He spun the wheels just a little bit. You saw his truck wiggle, but not enough to allow Terry Cook to get beside him. Terry Cook so close, so he can taste victory, Phil. He slides up the track. Kyle Busch does. Terry keeps his truck low, but Kyle maintains the momentum. Here comes Ted Musgrave. Musgrave trying to make the move on Terry Cook. He gets right up behind him as they go through three and four. It's Kyle Busch, Terry Cook, Ted Musgrave coming out of four. White flag, one more White lap. Flag. They're all in line. It's hard to pass on the bottom when they've got their tires locked to the white line. Ted Musgrave right up behind Terry Cook. Kyle one. Bush slides up to the wall as they go down the back stretch. Ted Ted's Musgrave to trying to make Terry Cook loose down there in that end of the corner, was not able to make it happen. Here comes Kyle Busch looking for his first ever win in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series as he comes out of turn number four. Across the start finish line, Kyle Busch will win. Oh, Steve Park and Johnny Benson side by side for fifth, fourth place. What a terrific job by Richie right, Waters. Kyle Busch, that entire Billy Ballou team, their second win as a, as a team. They won Las Vegas with Shane Meal last year.
What a great job by Kyle Busch. Remember, we haven't seen him in a truck oh, for 16. Well, we saw him at, at, at IRP last year, had a good run going close to a top 10 finish. But remember, he first started his NASCAR career when he was 16 years old, driving for Jack Roush. What a great run. What a great job he did with that truck. 10-4, guys, that was awesome. Way to get it done, Richie. That's, that's payback right there. For the day, I tore up both your stuff. Communications between our winner, Kyle Busch, and his crew chief, Richie Waters. Now he comes down in front of the grandstands to celebrate his first ever win in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.